Okay. recently released by the um, <clears throat> so foundation um, about UFO disclosure uh, I haven't watched all of the videos but there's some good videos here um, I've been thinking about like how like what's humanity's place in this whole reality the universe and the multiverse the omniverse everything and uh you know i was thinking about the lesser defiles and i was thinking about interdimensional <laughs> aliens and the anunnaki the elohim and um how um, you know i was thinking about like how you know and there might be conflict wars between aliens and that like how humans are being used in this process um now one idea i think uh, one way to look at it is the aliens or non-human intelligence whether they exist in this uh, right, right way but the inter dimensional non-human intelligence want or need us to do some work in this material dimension that we currently inhibit because if you think about, if you think about how there are multiple dimensions to reality um there might be things happening in other dimensions that uh, like if reality is interconnected what happens in this material world impacts the other dimensional aspects of reality and i guess um these non-human intelligences these interdimensional entities they 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 need like biobots and robots essentially that uh, can self-replicate and um that are easy to control and manipulate um in order to perform certain jobs or certain well, things for them in the material world maybe they they need us to organize matter around planet earth in a certain way or maybe we we are maybe the earth itself is like a spaceship and uh you know we are one of the intelligently controlled uh, <laughs> robots performing certain duties on planet earth um uh, uh, so, so i mean i'm thinking of, i'm thinking of the, everything as like a an interconnected system right uh so let me just focus on the humans um one of the way that one of the ways these uh, non-human entities can control us is by using psychic thought projection you know we have thoughts we we have thoughts we think things and we act on our thoughts and if you and and these however the however thoughts work thoughts exist whatever they are thoughts exist uh, and these beings probably read us like we're an open book and they can project thoughts into our minds and this causes us to behave in a certain way and what i'm going to say is like the humans are constructed in such a way that we do not have the capacity to resist 
these thoughts. It's like the, we cannot see them, right? And because we cannot see them, uh, they can control us. Uh, so it's like a, we were built. Like let's say you were, let's say you're breeding or creating a being that you want that being to do something. Like you're breeding animals or something. So you create these life forms called humans that are intelligent enough to so they don't have to be managed in a you know in a, you know they can manage themselves but they won't have the capacity to to see uh, certain aspects of reality where these non-human intelligences exist and they can uh, project thoughts into our psyche and control us that way um, I mean, you know this isn't like some kind of, you know, magic. It can be simply the fact that we have thoughts and they can project thoughts into our consciousness and control us. And, then, and that we don't have the capacity to see them by design. Um, and if you were, let's say, if you were humans who became aware of this information, would you want to share this with the public? Would should the president of the United States come out and make a statement saying yes, we are aware of these other beings, um, and you know this is how we are created. We are created. They created us. They created us because they wanted us to perform certain roles in this material dimension. Because uh, you know we're all interconnected and. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I mean, like, it's the, the problem with that is, like, I think humans, humans are going to be like, what? You mean we're just robots? Uh, I mean, here is, uh, I, I think they should tell us, but I think, uh, like, humans are an immature species. If you tell humans you're you're you can't see these beings and that they're controlling you, uh, manipulating you, and that you were created to be this kind of robot worker bee or whatever, um, you know, that might be difficult for for a lot of humans to take, especially the ones that live in, in, in these days. Um, Oh, but um, what can you do? You know, <laughs> uh, if you look at our own bodies, we've got multiple cells doing various functions in order to maintain the body. And you can think of the planet, you know, all these different organisms working together to maintain the biosphere. Um, you know, it's all interconnected. Everything is interconnected. It's a uh, parasitic, symbiotic relationship. And you can think of stars and galaxies as all interconnected in this way. Um, There's an interesting tweet where, you know, talking about a cat. Like, um, what the hell? All right, let me just get the tweet where all these classify, uh, categorizing NHI. Um, yeah, let's I'll just share this tweet. Uh, UAP. Uh, UAP, UFO, uh, categorization, uh, yeah, we might all be part of a system and humans are, you know, I know I'm so down on humans, but I mean, you can't, it's like, Humans don't have the capacity to, I guess if you can't, 
criticize human beings for something they are not. I mean, we are easy to manipulate because they, these non-human intelligences can control our perceptions. They can put thoughts in our minds. And then that's... And if you want to create something that can do work for you and, you know, be intelligent enough but not too... does not have the awareness of what's going on. I mean, you know, that's maybe how they are treating us. As as worker bees, as <laughs> as 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 a workforce to do something that uh, that is necessary in order to maintain things in their dimensions, and, and they may even conduct wars through us uh, because they might be fight. They might have conflict in their dimensions, but in order to and they, sometimes this conflict uh, gets uh, carried out in our dimensions, and that's why maybe maybe we fight with each other. That it's not just humans fighting with humans, but it might be uh, non-human intelligences uh, fighting through humans by manipulating us, controlling us. And sometimes, you know, you might have actual, uh, you know, extraterrestrials and ultra-terrestrials and. In this UFO categorization, it goes into all of these different types of entities. It's interesting. Uh, we might be all part of a very... It's a system of different intelligences and entities. And, uh, 